what is up everyone this is ken here welcome back to tech Karen youtube channel cherish os 2.3 i have installed on my redmi note 9 pro ami a tool bell redmi note 9s redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 pro max and poco m2 pro all of these devices are supported for this this one is based on android version 11 and this is the official build which i have installed on my device maybe it's available for your device also as an official or unofficial build this one is cherish os which i'm gonna review on my redmi note 9 pro a me a tool device this room is quite good and it was kind of underestimated room but it comes with many kind of customizations interesting features this one is cherish os which i'm going to share with you link of two devices actually actually one is a combination of four devices me a tool and the second one which i'm going to share with you is that redmi note 8 redmi note 8 also has this update which is cherish os 2.3 and you can use that on your device if you want to this one is cherish os as you can see device name redmi note 9 pro let me share with you some other things like about this build that some customizations which you get here for example some features which you get here first of all my favorite fonts which you can customize very easily it comes with the xiaomi parts options available for example i'm gonna share with you this xiaomi parts we, we the xiaomi Parts options might be available in the redmi note 8 also but not sure but this fast charge option which you can enable or disable is great we have the fast charge option enabled there usb fast charge option enabled there if you go over the battery stats this room is quite good in the terms of battery because of course it's a usb it should be far better than other rooms and yes it's good we have many interesting kind of battery stats options available which you can enable and customize whatever else you want to do security options in my case it includes the fingerprint and face unlock both options are available and if it is in your device then it's good you can use face lock i don't use the face lock much but it's up to you these are some interesting features you get there for example including that we have some cherish settings status bar related customizations and as always status bar related customizations includes the voltage wi-fi icons and some other options battery related things carrier label which you can simply customize and quick settings custom Customizations as always themes related customizations buttons and a lot more if you move on to the themes customizations I have some my favorite settings for example UI style I sometimes use this round medium and I have applied that which is working perfectly fine switches as you can see I have changed them you can also change them brightness slider style the brightness slider customizations options available for example I have applied the oxygen OS style right now and this is how this brightness slider is looking like you can also customize this brightness slider very easily by just going into here and tapping the and choosing choose one of your desired ones it's just up to you the panel background style and at last we have the volume panel style where you can simply customize this volume panel to me why aosp till or whatever else in my case i'm using the miui one and of course the miui miui volume panel looks quite great the gestures options are good available there we can simply swipe to screenshot use the swipe to screenshot feature and in swipe to screenshot feature we have the scroll option available let me share with you by going into the settings home screen once and here let me just apply this if i click here and it will ask me to take the long screenshot it will just not take the scroll so this is a thing which you need to keep in mind you can take the full screenshot but you need to press every time on the long screenshot it will not scroll down not sure if it's just in my case but maybe it's in other devices also but in redmi note 9 pro this might be the thing it comes with the google camera camera go edition pre-installed for my device in your device maybe different one but this google camera go edition is good which is a g cam but yes google camera normal g cam which is google camera 8.1 i am using the nikita g cam 8.1 here if you haven't saw my video on nikita g cam 8.1 you can try it out this is nikita g cam version 1.0 which is based on g cam 8.1 and you can basically say that g cam 8.1 with some extra customizations it comes with the focus tracking which is one of my favorite ones as i record videos in this gcam including that some other interesting features which might be interesting choice for you also if you go for the safety net status that in my case safety net status is passing or not and if i'm able to use the banking apps i am actually able to use the banking apps because my device is certified but let me show you by going to my device this safety net status by default as i haven't applied any kind of module you can see that this one the safety net status is not 
not passing by default but if i go here i haven't applied any kind of module if i use this magic side props config uh, the safeness status will be definitely passed so this might not be the big issue of course but if you go for the play store the device is certified so no issues available here and then this might be an interesting choice for you if you want to install this room on your device thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video and goodbye have a nice day